senior guys are a very big part of the fire service. And places that are losing the senior guys are hurting too. You know, and what's, what's nice is we have a nice, we have a good group of guys, of older senior members, who are still willing to come down here and teach us young guys the way it is. So here's one of the most important things you just said, and this is what goes through my brain. Senior, senior guys in the firehouse are instrumental in, in, the, in the tempo of the firehouse. Mm. However, now more than ever, we have stifled the senior man with shitty bosses and leaders. Yep. And when we don't allow, when you have insecure chiefs, mm-hmm. captains, that are not comfortable with their own abilities and skills, mm-hmm. they will not allow you to have a senior man. Mm-hmm. And it becomes, it becomes this terrible yeah. thing that's happened in the, the fire like service, this. where <clears throat> all you have to do is allow for your senior man to take care of a lot of the stuff for you yeah. and you excel as a boss. Mm-hmm. But again, it goes back to that lack of understanding how to be a good leader mm-hmm. and mentor and you stifle the senior man. Mm-hmm. The senior man position is incredible and it's, it's you know, a lot of guys are like, well, you know, we don't have guys anymore with 25 to 30 years in the firehouse anymore. And I'm like, yeah, but a guy with 10 years might be your senior man. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. He's one of the most senior guys in the room. Mm-hmm. That's okay. Yeah. Who's to say what a senior man, how many years you have to have to be a senior exactly. man? Senior. What you have to do is allow them yeah. to be a senior man. Mm-hmm. You have to allow them to have some latitude, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I, Danny, right? Yeah. Danny's driving a truck. Mm-hmm. Nobody's telling him where to park, where to position, how to be. He knows mm-hmm. because he's got his time. Yeah. He's put himself in that senior position now. Yeah. He's in that senior man spot, right? Mm-hmm. That's what we need. But when you start telling him how to be, how to operate, and how to do his job, mm-hmm. he's checked out. Mm-hmm. He's like, listen, man, this is a game for me. I want to I want to challenge myself, too. Just like you want to challenge yourself, mm-hmm. I want to challenge myself. Mm-hmm. When we take that away from people, man, we stunt yeah. growth. You, the guys who can't go to calls anymore, keep them involved. A lot of them, they have connections with like flower shops, pizzerias, lawyers, mm-hmm. things like that. Mm-hmm. Officers should know. Hey, can you help me out here? We were talking about that Mac you saw for sale earlier. I called one of my senior guys and said, hey, Ian, you're a fire truck buff. Who had this, this year a Mac? And he's like, oh, it was East Meadow. Well, he, knew, he knew right off the top of his head. And now he was very thankful for that five-minute phone conversation because I got him involved with something. I try, 